Round one, Eastern Conference, the NBA playoffs. The Knicks understand this is only the beginning. A long road lies ahead. They start out the series on hostile ground as they square off against the Bucks. Round one, game one, the NBA playoffs coming up next. Welcome everyone, the regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. So the New York starting five. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's on an OB in a fifth three spot. And for Milwaukee, the big men on the floor for him. Giannis and Portis. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the one. And look at the Bucks. And you know, Greg, they've worked so hard to establish home court advantage, and they may need it having drawn a brutal opponent here in round one. Not much of a reward for the season that uh -huh. they just had. <laughs> you know, many prognosticators think this series could go either way and makes it crucially important for them to take this first game. But they're just so happy to be here, right? All the season, all the practices and games, just to be here is such a reward. A lot of, lot of excitement, but also a certain level of anxiety. Now here's Brunson on the wing, Ananobi. Back to Brunson. Five on the clock. Takes a three. A rebound by the Bucks. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Middleton, the pass to Lillard. Here's Giannis. Robinson pulls it in. Lillard against Randall. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Randall. Out to Brunson. No oh, good with the triple. About one minute into the first quarter. Beasley with Robinson picks him up. Lillard, the pass to Middleton. Portis in the post. Defended by DiVincenzo. Trains the three-pointer. When defending Beasley, you've got to get up on him. I mean, he's lethal as a catch-and-shoot guy. There's the pass to Juan Anope. Now, Brunson. DiVincenzo gets to Randall. Back to DiVincenzo. It's a nice passing by New York here. Plenty of space. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Easily outside. Wants to get it to Antetokounmpo and does. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And Giannis with the basket on the assist by Beasley. You know, Beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there. Just um, finding the open man in a simple fashion. Well done. Randall is screen on Lillard. Here's Brunson. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And Portis throws it down. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. Now here's Brunson. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Brunson sinks the three-pointer. Brunson. Brunson's got five points so far. And Brunson more than comfortable shooting the three. And boy, is he efficient when he lets it fly. Three-pointer, Millard. Randall grabs the board. And Randall has got the ball here for the Knicks. Trailing by two. DiVincenzo kicks to Randall. Duana Nope fires the three, and the Knicks hit again from deep. 
A fantastic decision making big. Randall with the right choice there, finding the open man. Lillard scanning the floor. A floater, and there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Great, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking. Back to Ananobi. Robinson against Middleton. Here's Brunson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Staying strong inside. Brunson going right into the coverage to get the ball. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. And one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Crowder, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Malik Beasley. Then for the Knicks, Bogdanovich comes in for OG Ananobi. And it's Burks in for Dante DiVincenzo. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Brunson against Lillard. Over Brunson. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And with how well Lillard shoots it from deep, that mid-range day is normally going to be open. Randall finds Brunson. To the wing right side. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Good work defensively by Crowder. Pass to Beverly. Outside Crowder. Pass to Beverly. Lillard outside. Pass to Beverly. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. From outside, off the mark. For New York, they've gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Fifty seconds left in the first quarter. Brunson, good. Just a reflexive move by Brunson, putting complete trust in his mechanics. Beverly against Burks. Now here's Beverly. He's covered closely. Pass to Lillard. Shoots over Brunson. Top of the key jumper, no good. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Robinson on the wing. Here's Brunson. And it's sent back by Lillard. Jalen Brunson has been on display for New York. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. Everly with the ball. Still without a basket. And New York looking at who they've got. Ivanovich out there with Hart. And then there's Precious Achua. 
Then there's Alec Burks, and it's Brunson in at the point. Rhythm and timing so important in the game of hoop. Middleton using both on that pull-up jump. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Beverly against Brunson. Shot by Burks. Nobody around. Off target from three-point range. Now here's Beverly. Gallinari left side. Shot clock at six. Crowder sets a screen for Gallinari. Shoots over at Chua. A nice shot by Gallinari. Gallinari's got it all tied up now for the Bucks. Brunson the pass to Hart. Back to Brunson. Outside Bogdanovich. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Bogdanovich has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Pass to Bochamp. He kicks it to Beverly. Alinari right side. Shoots over at Chua. It'll go, and the New York Blues cut to just one point on the basket from Gallinari. And with good height for a wing player, Gallinari gives defenders problems down low. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. He's checked in for the Knicks. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Burks. A three from Bogdanovich. That's a miss. He's made one and missed one. The Bucks train. Pass to Lillard. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. This one for three. Happy to see that one go in for a second make in five attempts. And this is Lillard's bread and butter. He's always ready to pull from that range. And here's Brunson. Ten points for him. A three from Bogdanovich. Traps in the tray. Bogdanovich has got six. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Lillard. He's got five. Off the left rim and out. The Knicks have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. against Lillard. Here's Achua. The jump by Achua. Oh, that's a nice read from Brunson out of the pick and roll. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter basketball. Alinari outside. Back to Lillard. 
Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Lavac shooting their first foul shot of the night. A different look for Milwaukee. Antetokounmpo checked in for Jay Crowder, and it's Patrick Beverly in for Chris Middleton. Damian Lillard. One shot. The free throw drops for Lillard. And, and, you know, such a fierce competitor. Lillard can score from anywhere on the court. And there's no one you'd rather give the ball to with the game on the line. Now, here's Ananobi. And the rejection by Giannis. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He's got 11. Not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Robinson, the screen on Gallinari. And stolen by Lillard. Even Genzo against Beverly. Out to Gallinari. Lillard outside. That's the three fly. It's rebounded by New York. Hey, close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And there's the pass to Anadolu. Wants to get it to Robinson and up. What a swat by Giannis. Love the force he throws those shots away with. Three-pointer Lillard. Even Genzo with the rebound. I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Here's Ananobi. Up and in from the low block. Ananobi's got his second bucket of the night. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Portis comes in for Gallinari. And Middleton subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for the Knicks. Sixteen left to play in the first half. Middleton the pass to Portis. And Mitchell Robinson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Here's Lillard. 11 points in the game. Fires from deep. 
it's Giannis missing. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. They trail by one. A miss that time would have put him up. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the street. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. throw good Giannis. you really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team they all feed off of him with an attitude of joy and unselfishness So he gets them both. 43 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Passes to Juan Nope. Now Robinson hasn't made one yet. Brunson kicks to Randall. The three. The rebound by the Bucks. Here's Lillard. He's got 11. Ghana is with it. Back to Lillard. There's the three. Milwaukee. No good that time either. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for the Bucs. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Tips. Going against a high-powered offense like this, I know you have your work cut out for you at the defensive end. Yeah, you know, they're tough to guard. They put a lot of pressure on you. You can't make body position mistakes. We've got to make sure we try to make them work for the points. We'll see if you can be more effective in the second half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Greetings one and all, the postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Milwaukee Bucks. When you look at the metrics, they've done a great job offensively, really focused on getting the most out of each possession. The execution has been sharp. I love how they're playing right now. Hold on just a second. I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around that, Kenny. You saying when you look at the metrics? <laughs> yeah, right. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks, The lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me, it's crucial because it sets the tone. Ernie, Kenny, you always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the playoffs are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn, and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. 
We have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. Yeah, and with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. The big men on the floor for him, Giannis and Portis. And it's Lillard in at the one spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Every defender's nightmare when playing this team. Lillard just looks better off of it. Brunson surveying the D. And he finishes nicely on the left end. Brunson's got 12 points in the game. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Beasley, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Pass to Lillard. Portis sets the pick for Lillard. Down to five on the shot clock. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Pass to Robinson. Robinson with it. Over Lillard. Hippa goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Brunson. And this is the player that Brunson has become. He's capable of carrying the load offensively on any given night. Lillard knocks down the 10-footer. 16 points for him. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup. But you'd be assuming wrong. And it's good. Two points. And he has become deadly from that in-between area. Brunson as efficient on the midi as anybody. Lillard with no one around. Lillard again missing. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Steps back. Randall finds Brunson. Randall against Lillard. And again, it's New York. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Bucks. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Three-pointer. Trains it from beyond the arc. Lillard's got 19 points. And it's astonishing how Lillard can run up the scoreboard when he's in that zone. He is scary on offense. Now here's Brunson. He's got 16. Up top, Randall. Covered by Giannis. Five to shoot. Randall is screen on Beast. Near the three-point line, it's DiVincenzo. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. And, you know, that's their first miss after knocking down four in a row to start the half. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now here's Brunson. And that's a foul. He called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. New York takes timeout. Start time out. Yes. All right, here now your box breaker
Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Beasley. And New York with a change here, too. McBride's checked in. Here's Robinson. Still yet to score. Some nice passing by New York here. Ananobi kicks to Randall. On the clock. Fires for three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Bucks leading by six. And the pass to Beverly. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Lillard from outside, and another three for Milwaukee. Yeah, this looks like a three-game shoot-around with all the threes they're allowed. New York's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight, 5 of 12. And an obvious three on Lillard. Here's McBride, carries it from about 10 feet away. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Portis, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. McBride passes to DiVincenzo. Handle a screen on Beverly. Knocked away. DiVincenzo with it, out guarded by Giannis, and again, New York turns it over. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turn. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. One thirty one left in the third quarter. Lillard outside. The rebound by McBron. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. And the Knicks miss again. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for Milwaukee. Loads it up to Cassetta and the slam by Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Knicks trail by nine. For Middleton, Adenobi, good. Adenobi's got his third bucket of the night. Buckets, but he should have just gone straight up with it instead of trying to fade away. 
got a piece of it. And stolen by DiVincenzo. And Ananobi slams it in. Good find that time by DiVincenzo. An unselfish player always looking to make the extra pack. Now here's Lillard. Defense is right there. Count it. Wow. Unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Two seconds separate the shot clock and game. Randall against Portis. Randall surveying the D. Back to Ananobi. Just five to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. Bogdanovich, no luck. Up in time. And so it's Milwaukee bringing the quarter to a close with a seven point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Back right after this. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. playoff round one thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court and on the floor for New York here in the fourth we've got Jalen Brunson Alec Burks is out there with Bogdanovich then there's a chew -up. and it's McBride in at the two Lillard from outside good another from three and he is scorching right now he could be on his way to setting a franchise postseason record with this year He's caught fire at the right time for this team. Stepped up big in the postseason for him. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Offensive rebound. Here's Crowder. Can't hit from in close. Knicks trail by 10. Pass to McBride. There's the dish to Burks. Divine Brunson has it to him. Pocket six. And he banks in the lane. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. Bucks leading by eight. Beverly looking around. Alert against Brunson. Let's it go from 11. A shot missing. Boy, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. And Bogdanovich throws it down. And, you know, stretching out for that one, Bogdanovich showing a little elevation for a guy who typically stays close to the ground. And really deep through that time. The Lord's got six in the court. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Nick Bryan passes to Brunson. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. And he's good on the three ball. And the quick release of Bogdanovich. He gets rid of that ball in a hurry. Milwaukee's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Beverly, the pass to Beast. Back to Beverly. Colinari with a screen for Crowder. And another three from Milwaukee. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so you've got to do a better job contesting. New York calls timeout. Let's get a big welcome to the floor. Your Poland Warriors.
some changes. Bobby Portis has checked in for Colin Hart. Down is under Dekumbo, comes in for Crowder, and Middleton subbed in for Patrick Beverly. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I listened to Tom Thibodeau talking to his team during the break. Now, he begged his guys to get after it on the break. He said, let's keep up the tempo, guys. You know how dangerous we are on the break. Be confident with the ball. Take risks. Move it, guys. Thank you, David. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Brunson. And here is Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. New York moving it around. Knocks down the three ball. Well, they're having a good half so far offensively. Shooting over 50% from the field now. Trying to close the gap. Lillard against Brunson. And Lillard gets it to go. Lillard's got eight here in the quarter. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Brunson against Lillard. Robinson is three on Lillard. From 10 feet out, Brunson no good. Milwaukee leading by eight. The pass to Lillard. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Off target from outside. And so Ananobi will bring it up for New York. Passes it to Brunson. Tries from 10. A rebound by the Bucks. Andre DeCumbo's got his fifth rebound in this one. Lillard from outside. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Brunson. And here's Randall. Count that one. And then his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Giannis is screen on DiVincenzo. Giannis, that's a two-pointer. And right through it goes. Love that from Anacupo. No hesitation. Now here's Brunson. Randall is screen on Miller. Brunson hits to Randall. We're out of the combo. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks lead is cut back down to six. They get the basket from Randall. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. No good from Beasley. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Robinson is spring on Miller. Here's Brunson. Rebound Yannis and Kumbo. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his mates in the last quarter. It's rebounded by New York. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. It really does come down to this. I mean, come up empty, and it's over. Now here's Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Portis against Robinson. Three-pointer. Monster Grumbo pulls it in. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And an intentional foul right there. Jalen Brunson, second personal foul. Second team foul. and that makes it a seven-point lead. And 
so both free throws are good. It's an eight-point game. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're behind by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. to DiVincenzo. Randall outside. Here's Hananobi. Rebound, Milwaukee. And here's Giannis. Takes it to Lillard. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much. Here with Damian Lillard. Dame, when do you know you have a rhythm in a game like tonight? When I was doing my pregame routine, I felt pretty good. You know, the ball was coming off my hands good. I felt calm. I felt really good coming into the night to start the game. I was patient. Um, we had a good pace. I let it come to me. I got a few clean looks. And, you know, I had some high-quality makes. And, you know, after that, I was like, this got potential to be a good night. And that's what it turned into. It certainly was a very good night for you, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Damian Lillard.